All right. Hi, class. I'm going to go over how to start your next project, which is your week 10 calendar design part one project. We will be creating um, this. Uh, we'll be starting this this week for a module 10 and we'll be ending the class the next week, finals week with the, the other half of this assignment. So basically what we're going to be doing is a 12 month ca wall calendar with photos and um, but you guys are gonna be working on the first part this week, which is January to June. Um, so that's kind of what we're focusing on, getting this all kind of started this week. Um, also, don't forget, we have a discussion this week and that has to do with the brainstorming part of the design process. So, um, you know, talk about what helps you be more creative and find more meaningful and effective ideas in your concepts. Every designer does it different when they go to brainstorm. Um, there should be uh, brainstorming processes that you're always kind of, uh, you know, trying initially, you know, for instance, like sketches and thumbnails or an adjective list, mind maps. Um, those are some of the, you know, most often used brainstorming uh, concepts for your process, but you might do something different as well. So go ahead and discuss that. It's it's always nice to see what other designers do to help them, you know, say if you have a creative block, what helps you get beyond that. So that's for this week. Um, also, we have a checklist that we need to pay attention to when we're creating your um, your calendar. And just make sure that you are um, you know, paying attention to this, we will be designing this in InDesign only. No templates can be used to start this. It's from scratch. Um, the size of this will be 11 by 17 inches, portrait format only. There's going to be 12 pages and your file name should be uh, week 10 underscore calendar uh, underscore first dot last name. You're going to set up your parent, your master pages or parent pages, all that good stuff. Um, you're going to define your color palette only using Adobe fonts, and you're going to create months January of 2022 to J June 2022, this part one. Only one image per month. So we're going to, you know, obviously you don't want to put more than one. Here are some really cool uh, free sites, um, image sites that you can use. And uh, go ahead and click on those if you want to check, take, take a look. Um, and then you're going to package it, package your file, just like you have been doing in the past. So your InDesign file with a high quality PDF included, and you're going to zip that. And, um, you know, that will be what you'll do for this week. That will be what you submit. So let's go ahead. There's different ways that you can, um, that you can go about this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started First of all, let's go and open up InDesign. We're gonna go File New and we're gonna do New Document. And we wanna make sure we're in inches, 11 by 17. We wanna make sure we put 12 pages, even though we're only gonna be doing half of that. Just go ahead and uh, type in 12. We're gonna uncheck facing pages, make sure it's portrait. Start on page one. I would definitely put like a half inch margin. I'm sorry a 0.125 bleed because we're going to have a full bleed um, image on the top. So we want to make sure that we're paying attention to that and pulling that to the bleed. We're only doing one image per uh, month. Okay. Margins. This is where I wanted to have you guys set this at 0.5. That's a half margin. Everything else looks good. Click create. And then also don't forget about naming it. Um, at this point, what I would do is just go to your parent page. This is where we set up your master page. And, and like I said, there's total, there's a couple ways to do this. So I'm going to give you one method and then I'm going to also give you an, a video of somebody else doing it another way using another, um, method. Uh, the only difference between my demonstration and this person's demonstration is he's doing it a different size. That's basically uh, one of the biggest differences. The other way is he's kind of using the table um, 
the table panel a little differently. So it's up to you on which one you want to do, uh, completely up to you. But uh, I just wanted to offer at least two methods and techniques so you can definitely try it. All right, so I'm going to do this one technique. I'm going to double click on my A parent page. So right now I'm on my master page and I'm going to choose the rectangle frame tool, which it looks like a little X in a rectangle. And I'm going to click uh, anywhere in here just one time. And I'm going to uh, size my rectangle, which would be my calendar part, 10 by 10 inches. And I'm, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to pull this down. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to do a little bit smaller than this. Let's go like. Properties panel. We're going to do about 10 inches by eight and a half eight and a half high. That kind of gives a nice half way mark there. So 10 inches wide by eight and a half inches long. We're going to keep it at that. Okay. All right. So now we're going to select to activate the rectangle frame tool. And then we're going to click once on the document to open the rectangle dialog box. Okay. We already did that. So we're going to put in our 10 by eight and a half. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, all right, we're gonna press F to activate the frame tool. And then click okay when you're done. Now we're gonna hit the T, which is our type tool on our uh, panel, our toolbar, tool, tool bar, if I can talk. <laughs> then we're gonna click on the, the rectangle to select it. And at this point, I'm gonna, I'm going to not worry about the, the font style or the, the size of the font. I'm just going to start typing in um, the days of the week. Saturday, and I'm going to hit tab after that. We'll start with, actually, we'll start with Sunday. That's usually, and then tab. Uh, Sunday, Monday, tab. Tuesday, tab. When, Wednesday. I think it's the whole tab. Thursday, tab. Friday, tab. And I don't know if that's Saturday. My tabs got all weird here. Hold on. Just make sure you're doing one tab. Okay, for some reason, my Friday and Saturday tabs aren't quite the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste that tab in there. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it be. If we need to figure this out, if it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work, we'll just kind of fix it. I don't know why that's not giving me a nice tab there and it's not equal, but actually let me just hit tab there. Okay, so then what we're going to do is um, we're going to hit enter to start a new line after Saturday. And then we're going to press the tab key six times followed by the enter key. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. We're going to do this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. And then on the last one, you don't want to hit enter. I might have to adjust this. All right, so then we're going to press Control A to select all of the text in your frame. So Control A. Um, and then you're going to select the typeface. So we're going to now think about, okay, what typeface do I want to do? I'm going to do Montserrat and I'm going to do bigger. So I might have to fix my tabs here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is go to the tab, I'm sorry, the tables up here, table menu, and I'm going to choose convert text to table. I want to make sure my column separator says tab and my row separator says paragraph, or, um, paragraph and we're going to click OK. 
All right, this is where the tabs aren't working for me. So I'm gonna have to go back and actually do this again. So if yours actually does the same thing, let's go back and change that. My tabs weren't working for me there. I think this time I'm gonna make it a little bit more simple. I'm just gonna do the uh, days of the week. So let's see here. I'm gonna do caps lock Sunday tab, Monday tab, Tuesday tab, Wednesday tab, Thursday tab, Friday tab, Saturday. There we go. All right. Let's keep it simple like that. I think that's kind of what was screwing me up is just putting those long words. You can do the long words as long as you have the equal tabs there. Um, and then what we're going to do after that is just hit return and do tab six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and hit return again. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's column two. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's column three. Six. That's column four. Six. That's column five. And before I do anything, I'm not going to hit return. I'm going to do command A, which is select all. I'm going to go up to, um, this is good that I'm repeating this. Go up to uh, table, convert text to table. Again, I don't really have to do anything here. It's just kind of giving me that. Boom. All right. Now, now what you can do is you can, you know, play around with this. Uh, the cells and all of that, you can kind of play around with the size. Um, you could put in your, let's see here, hold on. your numbers and all that good stuff. Uh, before I do anything, I'm going to make this bigger. So I'm going to do select all. I'm going to take my type tool and I'm just going to select all just the top. Now I'm going to make these bigger. And I'm going to make it a different font, Montserrat. Boom. And you can always set your alignment too. I'm going to do like my alignment area here. All right, so now this is where we can kind of play around with um, our cells and we can make say this top part bigger in your properties panel. See where it says cell insets. That's where we can make certain cells bigger. If you have this selected, we can select the rest of these cells and do the same here. So if you want to adjust the, the size, you can do so here. You just have to select it with your type tool in order to do that, okay? Um, let's see, we can also stroke some fills. We could do like a fill on this, say if we wanted to do, <clears throat> uh, we wanted to keep it, you know, one point, which is the border, and then the color is black. Maybe we wanted to have a fill on this, say of a like 30%. And that would be the background of that. Click OK, and you can kind of see the background color change. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this even more because I want this to be kind of like, oh, let's go back. Not like that. I want this to be filling up most of the area down here. Oops. Make sure you have one, two, three, four, six cells. OK, perfect. And then you can kind of pull this down to go to the bottom. And then this area would be your, your, um, your image area. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and place a rectangle frame tool to the bleed on the top here. And we'll make sure that it's, you know, there's a little bit of space in here. What we can do, it's completely up to you and how you want to do this. I don't actually have, let me go back to my, I'm going to pixel bay. Pixel bay. Let me get a calendar for January. And I'm just doing January pictures. So let's see, what would be a good January picture? That's kind of cool. Let's do a winter scene. So I'm going to download this for January. You know, obviously you want to make sure it relates to the month. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and move this <laughs> to my desktop. Now, I don't want to put this on my actual parent page because it's going to repeat. So I'll just leave this empty for now. Same with the numbers. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a calendar. Okay, hold on one second. What was our named file here? Let me make sure I copy this correct. Week 10 calendar, first and last name. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to save this to the desktop. All right, go ahead and save that. Um, what you can do, you could probably create your paragraph style as well. If you go to your, um, your uh, let's see, mm -mm, styles and then paragraph style. Let's go ahead and make a paragraph style for this. And we're going to name this um, calendar days of the week. We already have Montserrat, all that good stuff. But what's nice about this is you can always come back in here and change the color once you set the style, if you don't want it always to be black. Same thing for the numbers. Now we know that the numbers don't always land on the same days. So what I would do is probably just save this and then go to your pages. Go ahead, click on your page. So this would be, say, your January page. And actually, you know what? Let's go back to our parent page. Let me delete this. We're not going to do the full bleed on the parent page. We're going to go right back to our regular page so that we don't have to worry about, we won't be able to put the image in there. So let's go ahead and do, we have to do this individually on the page itself if we want to place individual pictures in there. So object fitting, fill, fill frame proportionately. So there's my January picture, nice and cold looking. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new paragraph style. But before I even do that, I'm going to go and take the type tool and draw out a big type box. And I'm going to, and I can't see January, spell out the word January. And let's go to my type character. I'm going to actually do a, maybe a script font for this. Let's do make it big. I chose Agatha and now I'm going to choose my paragraph. My type and tables, paragraph alignment so I can get it centered. Make it a slightly bigger still. Okay, and then make sure it's readable. So, you know, if I need to change this to white or whatever, let's see, let's do white. And I'm going to give this a drop shadow. So drop shadow is object effects drop shadow. And this will just give a nice contrast to um, to be able to be red. I'm going to kind of play around with the distance and the size and the opacity a little bit and then click OK. Now, if you wanted to do the same style, the same color for, for each of your months, which I think would be good because it's keeping it consistent, we're going to go to our paragraph styles with this word January selected. We're going to hit character styles, double click over the one that you just created, and we're going to do calendar months. And that's just going to represent the month. So it's set in everything that you just put it in. Click OK. So that the next month, and which would be this month, January, February. Let's go ahead and draw a nice box there. And what you could do is you could just copy and paste this so that you know that's the correct size. Copy, paste. And all you have to do is go back to um, find a good February picture. Let's go. 
let's see, it's good for the orchard. Let's just choose this one. This is cool for um, Valentine's Day. Okay. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and swap that out. Command D, swap that out with your, your February picture. Object fitting, fill frame proportionately. And then all you need to do is take the type tool. Make sure you're spell checking February. That looks pretty good. Make sure it works and you're, it's readable, you know, you can read it. But that's just an easy way to keep that consistent. And then what I would do is go ahead and look up um, online the calendar for 2002. so that we know January and you could probably take a screenshot of this the first starts on a Saturday and then there's 31 days so what I would do is at this point I would go on to your uh, let's see first page. So I wouldn't go on your parent page at this point. Just keep, keep it on that first January page. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw out a table, actually just like a type, type box. Okay. So with the type tool selected, draw a type box, make sure it's, you know, it has equal margins on all sides. So it's not too close to your boxes. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see. And I know that January starts on a sat January 1st starts on a Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and take my type tool and I'm going to start here. But before I do anything, I'm going to do five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tabs. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm going to do a command. A, which will select all of those. And then I'm gonna do um, a tab. I'm gonna set my tabs. So I'm gonna go tabs. And this is where I can set all my tabs for where I want my um, numbers. So I'm gonna do the right aligned and I'm gonna start here. Right about there. And then I'm gonna drop another one here. And I'm gonna drop another one here. And I'm gonna drop another one here. And I'm gonna drop another one here. If you screw up, it's okay. Just re-click on the, the actual uh, ruler, should be okay. When you're ready to uh, just be done with that, cause you wanna put your numbers in, go ahead and click the uh, little red button there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose, we're gonna have one representing that. Okay, and then we're gonna do two. Oh wait, we gotta do select all tens. Okay, all right, hit return. And then we're gonna do tab two, tab three, tab four, tab five, tab six, tab seven, tab eight. All right, now with, you know, it's obviously these need to go down a little bit more. So we're gonna select all of this, this first copy, and we're gonna create a new paragraph style. So click paragraph style, we're gonna double click on it and we're gonna name this days of the week, okay? This is where you can choose, you know, what size and the number. And if you hit the preview, it's gonna show you what the, the number is going to look like. You can do the colors, all that fun stuff. That looks pretty good. 25 Montserrat. And you can choose the space in between. If you choose the indents and spacing, um, this is where you can adjust this. So let's do, 
We're going to do a space after. And we want this to be consistent. And let's see, we want right alignment. So where it says alignment, we want to choose right. And where's the space after? Eh, based on your font, I think this is probably the best here. We'll do 0.5. And you can always do like change the color as well. I'm just going to leave it black. Okay, so now just have your cursor right after the um, letter eight, or the number eight, hit return. And now you should be able to, if it's, let's see if it's not doing this. Oh, because we didn't hit enter, that's right. We're gonna have to redo all that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go back up to our days of the week. Instead of doing the right alignment right away, let's change that back because I think what that's going to do is kind of screw up our um, how we're typing this, okay? So instead of doing the right alignment, let's just keep it left for now and we can always change this. There we go. And now you can go back and do your your uh, numbers. We're just going to have to change the spacing again. So 12, 13, 14, 15. So we'll just type it all now. So we can just adjust it all together. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I'm hitting tab in between all of these, by the way. 26, 10. 27, 28, 29, 30, and there's 31 days in this month. All right, so now what we need to do is we got to figure out, okay, the spacing in here needs to be a little different because we got, um, we got some of this not going and we don't even have this up where we need it. So there you go. Uh, we're going to double click on days of the week and we're going to go to your indents and spacing and we're just going to play around with this until it actually works for our um, calendar. So I would say for this one, and we could kind of fudge in between here, um, this is probably a good space. So 0.68. And then I'll go back to my alignment and do right. It's going to screw up my 31. <laughs> my 31 just dropped, jumped over there. Hold on one second. Let me see what my right alignment looks like. Actually, that's not too, too bad on the right there. Okay, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to keep that at left alignment and pull this maybe a little bit to the right. Pull this. Okay. See if I do all okay, click okay. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna hit delete here. So why this is getting all funky. I must not have a tab here. Hold on one second. There we go. I'll just left align that one. Okay. The other thing I want to do is maybe adjust the tabs a little bit because it looks like my numbers are a little bit, now that I just resized it, I'm going to just adjust this. So you can go in and actually adjust your tabs if you need to. Just double click on your paragraph style and then just pull, go to your tabs and just pull these all. See how I'm, it's kind of adjusting. Just pulling these to the right just a little bit more because they just seem like they're a little bit too in between there alignment wise. Okay, then I'm going to click OK, and that's how you would adjust that. So if you ever need to, like, say if you don't want it to be full black and you want your color to be like a tint, so like let's do 30 because that's probably you could do like a 30, which is kind of nice. It's not a full, like, you know, 100% black. And that way, 
if you ever need to write on top of it, so easier. All right, and then what I would do is I would copy this, um, what you just created and paste it in here, align it just like you did with your other um, calendar. But then now this will make it a lot easier because once you, after you're done with that first one, you can go and look at, okay, how many days, uh, February starts on a Tuesday and it has 28 days. So Tuesday is the first, so I'm gonna take my type tool and I'm gonna position it in front of this one and I'm gonna hit delete until it gets to where I want it to be on Tuesday. And then I need to position it in front of two and I'll do the same thing here, hit tab. It's gonna kind of realign stuff. So let's just kind of get this where it needs to be. I'm hitting delete, delete tab, delete, delete tab, delete, delete tab. And we only have 28 days here. So let's go ahead and delete that. And in its spacings, it should have kept all of that. I don't know why I did that. Um, yeah. Oh, you know why? Because there's returns. So you're just going to hit returns after each of these. I just did. That was my big error there. I didn't hit return. <laughs> all right. So it should make it pretty easy. Um, let me do that again, because I think that's a little confusing. Okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it in here. Just going to drag it down. And what I'm going to do, what I did before, I kind of screwed up. Let, let me hit delete till it goes to Tuesday. Oops, that tab. And then I'm going to hit delete here in front of two. So that brings that up and tab. Now, all I need to do is put my cursor in front of six and hit return. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, come on now. It's not going to let me do that. My five's going to stack. All right. So you're going to have to delete all these and put tabs just like I did. So delete, delete, tab, delete, delete, tab. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Delete, delete, tab, and 28 days. So yeah, you will have to do it that way because there's so many tabs in here. Then position your cursor in front of the T or behind the five and hit return. That's all you have to do. Behind the 12, hit return. Behind the 19, hit return. So on and so forth. So there is February. Okay. So you're going to be doing January, February, March, April, May, June. So six months, you're going to be starting this part. And then next uh, part two, which will be, you know, the end of the class, you will be doing the other, the other parts. So let me zoom out here. And let me show you what this looks like. There we go. That looks good. It's very consistent. I'll probably bring this down a little bit so it's centered. Is my other one not centered? No, it doesn't look centered. There we go. Okay, so just kind of pay attention to the dates. I know it's a little funky with the tabs. That'll be a little, a little tricky. And like I said, I'm going to send you another video of doing it a different way using the tabs and tables. But um, sometimes I find it a little easier to do it this way than getting involved in all of that too. So um, I guess it's just kind of knowing how to place the tabs in there and the spacing after. That is kind of a tricky part. Okay, so when I'm ready to save this, I want to save it and then package it. So package, file package, and just make sure everything looks good. I have two links found, everything looks good. Package, uh, I'm gonna put this on my desktop. Everything should be selected here. High quality print should be selected for your PDF. Hit package. This is going to place this on my desktop, which has tons of stuff in it. Here's the folder. And when you double click on it, just make sure you have your fonts in there, your links, um, your InDesign file, and then your PDF. Go ahead and open up your PDF just to make sure everything looks good. 
I'm going to view display single. Make sure you have all of your PDFs in there. Now I'm obviously only doing two. You guys will be doing six. Okay. And I know like these are my bleeds. I have this set too. Let's see my bleeds and my crap marks. All right. I hope this helps. I'm going to post this in announcements. I'm going to send this to you as well as a link to take a listen to. And like I said, I'll be providing you with another way to do this, but it's going to be done. The size is a little different. So don't follow the size that this person's going to tell you to do. You want to make sure you adhere to our checklist um, so that you're doing the correct size and, you know, other specific details in here, which you want to make sure you're adhering to. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.